I'm Amina and I'm talking about Somali culture. My future goal is to advocate for the survival of my culture as the world becomes more globalized and many cultures disappeared and replaced with modern lifestyles. It's important to preserve traditional cultures and keep their uniqueness. So what's Somalia in the culture? Somalia is a country that lies in the Horn of Africa and has a population of around 12 million people. Somali people in Somali culture mainly exist in Somalia. However, there are many Somalis that live in other countries such as the neighboring countries like Kenya, Ethiopia, and other parts of Africa. Furthermore, the Somali people are scattered around the world due to the civil war that has happened in Somalia back in 1990. My mission is to teach people from around the world and the Somalis that live outside their country of origin, origin such as here in the United States, um, who have little contact with the culture. I tried my best to jot down as many facts as possible about the culture, and I enjoyed researching and learning facts that I didn't know already. In the coming slides, I will be explaining basic Somali culture, such as food, celebration, and etc. Somali people celebrate Eid, Ramadan, and weddings. Ramadan is the ninth month in the Muslim calendar. Muslims fast from food and water from sunrise to sunset. Eat. So what's eat? There are two major eats in the Islamic calendar per year. It's called Eid al-Fidr earlier in the year and Eid al-Adha later. Eid al-Fidr is a, a three-day long festival and it's known as the lesser or smaller Eid. When compared to Eid al-Adha, which is four days long, and is known as the Greater Eid, how Muslim people celebrate Eid. People greet each other with Eid Mubarak, meaning blessed Eid. Eid day, people give each other gifts. The gift is usually given to children by an elder relatives and family friends as part of the celebration of the two Muslims holidays, Eid al-Fidr and Eid al-Adha. Somali weddings. Somali weddings have a celebration that traditionally encompasses three days of activities such as meals, gift giving, music, and dancing, although men and women may celebrate separately. Somali breakfast includes injero, tabaya, and sambusa. Injero and the Somali, Somali people usually eat injero for breakfast. Injero is this sourdough pancakes are made daily in most Somali kitchens. They're light, spongy, chewy, and taste a bit like crumpets. Sabayat, on the other hand, is a Somali flatbread made from flour. It is golden brown and flaky on the outside and on the inside. Sambusa is a deep fried triangle, triangular shaped pastry filled with meat and vegetables. And what's for lunch and dinner are ambulo, sora, and rice. Ambulo is made from corn and beans. Usually it's eaten with oil and sugar. Sora is made from water and flour, and it is usually eaten using the hand. It can be with milk and sugar or soup in your choice of meat. Rice is basically cooking with any choice of meat, and it can also be put in the oven and add colored food in it and other spices. Somali traditional clothes are uh, guntino, and guntino is a dress that you put on and tie on top of the shoulders. We wear a guntino for weddings and special events. Animals are, uh, the Somali traditional animals include camels, cow, goat, and sheep. Camel 
is one of the first Somalia resources. Somalia has the largest population of camels in the world, and Somali people have long used the camels as their primary livestock. Camel's meat is the common proteins consumed in Somalia, and camel milk is also largely available in the country at a cheap price because of the abundance of camels in the country. Camels have long been the most prestigious property to own in the country, and in the past, when one is out to get married, he was usually required to pay a hundred camels to the family of the bride. Old poetry said, whoever has camels was rich, and whoever didn't have camels was poor, even if he possessed other materials. Goats and sheep. Goats in Somalia are unique to the land. They are mainly white in color, even though some have mixed colors. But full white is dominant color for these goats. The goats are drought tolerant, and when milked, each can yield one to three liters of milk daily, even when access to water is limited. Somali sheep is white with black head. It belongs to the fat tail type, and both of the breed's genders are old. The animal is mainly reared for meat production and is a major export of the Somali economy, particularly to the Arabian Peninsula. Cows, cow's milk is the most dominant milk used in the Somali culture. However, cow meat is rarely consumed in Somali, and that's because people prefer to the can to the camel meat over the camel meat. And since camel meat is available everywhere in the country, there is nothing forced in the public to opt cow meat instead. There is belief in the people that camel meat is cleaner and healthier than cow meat, and that's why people rarely eat cow meat in Somalia. The milk, however, is preferred. Cow milk is tastier and has more nutrition than camel milk. So why did I choose this topic? I chose this topic to learn about my culture. I felt like I didn't know anything about the culture. We have language, food, and everything else that I don't know a lot about. I tried my best to do a lot of research, and I can say that I learned many facts about the culture. While I was doing this research, I tried my best to jot down every fact that I thought was important and interesting.